Several Arab leaders are in Beijing for an Arab-China summit, with Israel's war in Gaza set to dominate the talks. Heads of state from Egypt, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Tunisia are among those attending. Discussions will include expanding China's trade ties in the region. China firmly supports the establishment of an independent state of Palestine that enjoys full sovereignty based on the 1967 borders and with East Jerusalem as its capital. It supports Palestine's full membership in the UN and supports a more broad-based, authoritative and effective international peace conference. I speak to Andy Mock, he's senior research fellow at the Center for China and Globalization and professor at Beijing Foreign Studies University. He joins us uh, from Changde in China. Thank you so much for your time. So tell us a little bit about China's interests in the Middle East and how those interests have actually been evolving over recent years. Certainly. Well, I think China's uh, interest in the Middle East or West Asia is longstanding and strategic. And this current summit is the continuation of President Xi's meeting, uh, largely in Saudi Arabia in December of 2023. And we know that, of course, uh, the conflict uh, in Israel, uh, in Gaza, is one of the hot topics. But I think there are deeper issues that are going to be discussed as well. And I think there are three interlocking issues. Uh, the first is the future of the dollar, and in particular, uh, dollar hegemony. As we've seen that the dollar, the global financial system uh, controlled by the United States has been weaponized, and many countries around the world uh, really see an urgent need uh, to uh, transition to uh, a system that is safer and uh, impervious to this kind of weaponization. I think the second big issue uh, is the transition as the energy transition to a more sustainable future. We know that uh, many of the uh, countries uh, in the Middle East, in West Asia, uh, rely on fossil fuels as a cornerstone of their economy and the transition uh, to a, a newer world is very important. And I think finally, uh, which Israel is a part of this, is regional and global uh, security issues uh, that China has been a proponent of indivisible security where every country, whether that's Russia, whether that's Palestine, uh, whether that's other parts of the world, have their legitimate security interests recognized. So I see this as the continuation of a very important partnership that I like to visualize uh, as the falcon soaring uh, while empowered by the dragon. So, of course, the falcon refers uh, to the Middle East or West Asia and the dragon refers to China and that they have complementary roles to play in the creation of a more stable, prosperous and safe world. And in terms of uh, the role that uh, China is playing when it comes to the Israel-Gaza crisis, I mean, we saw China recently host uh, these talks between Hamas and Fatah. What, what does it think that they can actually achieve here? Well, I think the role of a party that does not have a direct stake in a conflict certainly can be very, very valuable. We've seen other parts of the world um, and in conflicts that have been successfully uh, resolved, the valuable role of an honest broker. So I think China can play a role here. And again, it has uh, been an increasingly uh, significant player in, in this part of the world. We've seen uh, it play a role in the uh, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, rapprochement. Uh, we see it playing this role in other parts of the world. And I think one of the most valuable things China can bring to the table is a non-ideological stance. So China is, uh, I think, well-known globally for its pragmatism, for its respect for mutual sovereignty, and the importance of treating uh, uh, all parties involved with mutual respect. And this can certainly play a role in... Uh, resolving this ongoing uh, conflict uh, in Israel. Andy Mock, very good to get your views. Andy, a senior research fellow at the Center for China and Globalization and professor at Beijing Foreign Studies University. Thank you. Apologies uh, 
to viewers yeah. about the small sound issues we have there as well. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.